Right. Oh, I'm Stacy Kurtz with the Healthy Chula Vista Co uh, Initiative, and I coordinate that initiative for the city of Chula Vista. How long have you been doing this? Um, I have been in charge of the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative for about a year and a half now, but the city has undertaken the initiative and healthy related policies for several years, but 2013 is when it was formalized with the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative. So what exactly is the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative? Sure, the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative is looking at policies, programs, and partnerships to promote health and wellness for our residents and provide them with healthier options and more healthier options. So is this a distribution shot site, a volunteer organization, city government? So the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative is through the city of Chula Vista, so local government. Uh, but we are working with partners throughout our community and community-based organizations, the school districts, we have health care, um, and a lot of other industries, businesses, et cetera, involved in the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative. So how would I get a hold of you if I was an everyday person? Sure. You could either contact us via the website, which is chulavistaca.gov backslash healthy cb and what can i do as a just an everyday person looking at this sure we have a lot of events um coming up and a lot of ways to dialogue with us so through that website you can access all of our upcoming events and all of our initiatives out of healthy chula vista such as policies and programs that we're working on okay now big question ready Sure. How much does it cost? Oh, it's nothing to participate. We welcome anybody and all residents and organizations within the city to participate with us. So we're a family organization. I could bring my kids. Oh, absolutely. Learn something. Sure. Our last event was actually related to food insecurity. It was at Chula Vista High School. We had over 200 uh, students participate with us. Awesome. So I could get my organization, my company, or my uh, school involved. Absolutely. Awesome. So what's that website again? It's uh, www.chulavistaca.gov backslash healthy CB. Awesome. I appreciate your time. And who are you again? Stacy Kurtz with the Healthy Chula Vista Initiative. Thank you, Stacy. You Thank take you. care. Canada stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west and north almost to the pole. It reaches a quarter of the way around the clock. When it's lunchtime in Vancouver, it is already supper time in St. John's. A land area greater than the whole of Europe. Larger even than its great neighbor to the south. But in all this space, there are only four people to every square mile. And most of them live along the southern border. <laughs> To get to know them as a people, you need to know something of their background and the influences that have made them what they are. RuPaul was just like, uh, like he seemed really connected and like he was really rooting for everybody and wanting them to do well. He's one of those like empathetic people that just wants the other person to do well and have a good time. That was nice to see. That's awesome. So you just alluded to it before. You were like kind of retired. Like take me yeah. back to life before the price is right. Like how has this kind of changed things for you? Uh, it was kind of like being in quarantine. Like I had nothing to do all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a hobby, something to keep me busy. <laughs> you know, home a lot with my friend. Um, yeah, I, I, I was kind of like semi-retired. and I didn't have, I wasn't on the Drew Carey show or Who's Line or anything anymore. And I was just going to do like, small projects here and there just that I thought were interesting and were fun. Wasn't looking for any kind of career thing anymore. I had, I was, I could just live off the money I made. I was in a pretty good spot and then the uh, price of right came along and uh, stole my heart. And now I can't imagine doing anything else. It's such a fun gig. I can't wait to get back to taping shows, by the way. I don't know when that's going to happen out here in California because we need a packed audience for mm -hmm. people. And I don't know if you can't sit six feet apart and, be on the prices right. And I don't want to audience shot with everybody in masks. I'll go, although maybe that's what we're going to have to do. I have no idea how we're going to be coming back to taping for a, for a short while, but oh, we'll be when back was the last one you guys did? Uh, I think on March 10th, something mm -hmm. like that. Like the whole last week is when that we taped was when like the NBA shut down yeah. and uh, all that stuff. And the, the, uh, everything like every day they go, Oh, they shut down and I'm still here. 
And I would, I, and I, I was like, I'd be backstage going, why are we taping? This is ridiculous. Get me out of here. I'm 61 years old. And <laughs> yep. I'm, you know, everybody's hugging me. I'm in this, like, like so many people working on the show that touching. And I was just like, I was so nervous that last week. And when they shut down production, I was so glad to get out of there. And I was just like, man, it's the last thing I need is to give it to somebody or get it, you know, at Price is Right. Uh, so yeah, I was honestly like glad that we shut down and got out of there, but uh, yeah, I don't know when we're going to come back. You're somebody that's been on TV for a really long time. When you think about your own show, who's on it anyway, what are you most proud of in terms of what you've been able to do? Uh, I'm really, I don't know. Uh, it's like a weird word for me to use. Proud. Of. I, I, I really am like, like thankful that I've had such a longevity you know, I've been able to do so many different things and still be on TV and still be on a good show and uh, still be able to do stuff with people. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. Oh. Oh.